Hey guys, it's me again. You'll recognize me if you saw my first video about Minecraft um, stuff. Part 1. We're back for part 2 now. And we're going to be doing one one thing that you might not know about Minecraft. It's going to be another cool stuff sort of thing. And um, let's get into it. Um, so today I think I'm just going to show you how to, uh, um, I don't know, what should I show you, what should I show you guys, what, no, what should I show you, I'm going to show you how to make a ton of golems, because everybody loves golems, and I'm not going to, I mean, a lot of this is going to be obvious to you, um, but, yeah, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter, so I'm going to need a block, you're going to need a, for this, you're going to need a block of iron, which I have. You're gonna need a pumpkin. You're gonna need a, uh, a snow, block of snow. You are going to need, uh, for the second one, a piece of soul sand. And where is it? It's in here. And a wither skeleton skull. That's it, that's it. So for the first golem that we're gonna be making, this video is mainly just for like beginners. Um, you pros, people who are further in will know this. So you just simply put two blocks of snow on top of each other and put the pumpkin on the top. And then you have your very own snow golem. And, um, let's show you what happens when you spawn a, when you spawn a mob. It starts, oh god, that was weird. It, it kind of, um, it, fights it for you so the point of golems are that they fight enemies for you so let's spawn a zombie uh, not a baby zombie a real zombie there we go and then we'll spawn this snow golem and the golem shoots snowballs at it to help you um so yeah that's that the first tutorial and um let's let's get into the second one so for this one you're gonna place two iron blocks there one here one there and then a pumpkin on top and there you have your very own iron golem and now if I spawn a zombie it throws it into the sky so it's pre pretty much one hit kill um, I'll I'll bring it up against a blaze because blazes are a lot stronger throws it up like that basically that's just how it does it and it takes forever to kill these guys because um, as you can see I've hit this guy like ten times with my iron sword diamond sword and it takes a long time but they usually just drop a poppy and a few iron ingots and now for the withers for the wither which causes a lot of damage you're going to want to do this with the soul sand put one skull here one skull here and then the final skull there and there we have a very scary and cool wither this bar that you're seeing at the top up here is its health and as you heard it it blows stuff up when it's got that blue thing over it, it means that it's just getting ready to fight you. And basically, you just want to take this thing out, and before it, like, kind of destroys everything, which you can see it's kind of blown up everything. So basically, it's it's just the nether boss. And when you kill it, I'm pretty sure it drops a nether star. Yeah, drops a nether star. And that's, that's pretty good for, I think, potions. Now that means, I think, that it's trying to recharge. But when I put it red when it's recharging, that means that it's kind of not being successful. But it's really fast, which is a bad thing. Because right now you can see there's bubbles coming off of it. It's because it's got a swiftness potion. Um, but I'll show you the I'll show you the next one later. Um, the the next one in the um, following thing. I've never actually done this before. But yeah, that's the wither boss. That's the wither boss. Now in tech it if you want, you can just get a creeper put the creeper right in front of you stare at it and type this slash lightning and then lightning should come down on it and it turns it into a charged creeper and with a pig if you put a pig and then strike it with lightning it turns into a zombie pig man as you probably might have guessed but thank you guys for watching this this video it's really short um i'll think up some more weird minecraft things to show you or some cool things to show you but anyway thank you guys for watching this one bye